Good day, everyone. Our discussion last week uh, talked about financial planning as an important element in the overall planning of the business because it is concerned not only with the procurement and sourcing of funds, but also uh, with how funds should be profitably used and properly allocated. If you could remember, the first step in the financial planning process is sales forecasting and costs of, and other income or expenses forecasting. Actually, this first step uh, involves the one of the most widely used financial planning tools, which will be our topic for this week, which is budget plans. So what is a budget plan? A budget plan is a plan derived from budgeting. So, a budget refers to a plan which is expressed in quantitative monetary values, whereas budgeting is the process or act of preparing financial budgets. Now, why do we need to make budget plans? What are the purposes of a budget plan? First is to facilitate planning. Budget plans serve as a guide on your plans. Diba, naaman tayo sa company na atay ganahan nga ma-achieve na goal. So, ang budget plans, just like financial plans, uh, they serve as a guide on how we would uh, achieve that goal. Next is to establish financial coordination. Next is to properly allocate resources. So, ang budget plan, it helps us organize finances not only for effective use but also kanang mag-guide bitaw ta kung unsa ang nato pag-distribute sa atong funds, especially if limited ra ang atong resources. Next is to improve employee or personal morale. So, budget plans helps encourage employees or workers to do better and it would also uh, make them feel nga we support them, we support their department. So, maka-encourage siya sa mga employees kay makafeel man sila nga gitagaan sila moral support sa company kay naa sila gitagaan man good sila gitag- because they were given budget then lastly uh, enhance control mechanism so budget plans improve system in achieving results so makafeel ka nga in control ka sa mga nahitabo kay naa kay plano naa kay guide so, ang um, budget plans, just like financial plans, is na po ni sila uh, period covered kay both plans man sila. So, uh, the length of time na kung unsa, unsa ang duration sa atong plano. So, budget plans can be short term, medium term, or long term. Short term siya if less than one year or one year or less than one year ra ang kanang atong budgetary requirements. Then, Medium term siya if ang atong budgetary requirements is modagan siya from 3 to 5 years. Then, long term siya if kung supang super dugay, like it would take more than 5 years. So, long term budget plans are also called strategic budget. So, these budgets, these long term budgets are anchored on the company's VGMO, Vision Mission goals and objectives so ang um, content sa long term budget dapat align na siya sa VMGO sa company although ang short term and medium term is align dapat pud siya sa VMGO but it is more on the day to day function mangod of the business sa daily operations niya whereas ang long term is uh, it has a wider uh, perspective sa business and large scale na ang iyang mga uh, plano. So now we have uh, the different types of budget. First is we have the fixed budget. Fixed budgets are budgets budgets which are based only on one level of production. So kung ang imong budget is only good for like for example um manufacturer ka o uh, face masks. So, if pag-himokag fixed budget, ang 
expenses ang income nga involve ana is good only for one level of production so one level of production like for example mag make ra ka o 5000 masks so if mag make a fixed budget using uh, at the 5000 level of production so more jud na ang imong um, expected expenses in making that 5000 masks so Dili na nimo siya magamit if ang imong production is only 4000 masks or 6000 masks. So good only siya for the 5000 masks. So mao na siya ang fixed budget. Mo siya gitawag na fixed kay fixed naman fixed naman siya ang budget for a certain level of production. The next is we have the flexible budget. So kaning flexible budget uh, lahi na pud ni siya uh, let's let's say opposite siya sa fixed budget because uh, flexible budgets show projected costs at different levels. So, not just one level of production. Pwede ka mag uh, make a budget if 3,000 masks ra ang production or if 5,000 masks or 6,000 masks or 9,000 masks. So, uh, you will um, prepare uh, budgets for different levels of production. Third is the continuous or rolling budget. So, these budgets are continuously prepared every month by adding another month once the current month has passed. So, naakay budget for the year 2021. Unya, unsa man uh, year 2021, then delete ta ng year sa 2020, uh, delete ta ng month sa 2021 ang imong gamon. So, karon October ta. If mahuman ng October, ana pa ka mag-add og budget para sa November. Unya, if mahuman ng November, ana pa ka mag-add og uh, budget for the month of December. So, continuous siya continuous ang pag-add o budget if mahuman na ka anak ng month. The next is, we have the cash budget. So, this budget uh, reflects expected cash receipts or cash disbursement. So, cash receipts um, sale from sale of goods, um, sale of kanang mga non-current assets nga dili na gamiton, um, or collections, Collections from your credit sales from previous months or previous periods. Then we have cash disbursements, um, expenses for that um, certain period or kanang mga expenses from previous periods na karon pa hibay run. So mga cash outflows and cash inflows ang contents sa atong cash budget. Next we have the sales budget. So, this reflects expected number of units to be sold based on forecast made from performance of previous, pre, from previous years and other marketing variables. So, um, di ba natay step uh, ato sa financial planning step nga mag-gather og information? So, after gathering information, uh, pwede, pwede ta maka-create og sales budget kay Especially if ang atong information na gather is kanang um, ang demand demand and supply nga information because maka create na tag um, conclusion or expectation kung pila ang expected uh, units nga atong ma sell. The next is production budget. So it shows the cost of producing the product. So if ang sales budget is um expected sales ni mo, ang production budget is ang expected costs sa imong product. So, included na sa production budget ang um, direct materials cost, ang um, labor cost, then ang um, overhead cost, and other, all other costs that would um, entail for you to produce your good. Next is we have the operating budget. Ang operating budget is ang combined sales 
plus production budget. So, if you combine nyo ang sales and production budget na nakay operating budget. Then, we have the capital budget. So, it's a long-range budget that includes planned ex expenditures of non-current assets. So, if mupalit kag build, uh, if mupalit kag land or magpatukod kag building, mupalit kag equipment or large machineries, ano na siya ma-include sa capital budget kay non-current assets naman na sila. Then, we have financial budget. Ang financial budget is composed of cash budget and our budgeted balance sheet. So, niya, makakaanta if unsay um, forma sa budgeted balance sheet. Then, lastly, we have master budget. So, it's the overall budget of the business entity. So, cash budget, um, sales budget, production budget, financial budget, capital budget. So, if you combine it with the name we will you will have master budget. Now, we will uh, discuss the performa budget schedules. First is the production budget performa schedule. So, production budget performa schedule contains ang atong budgeted sales in units. Then, we add our budgeted ending inventory to get the total budgeted goods for sale. Then, we will deduct our beginning inventory uh, to get the budgeted units to be produced. So, ang atong expected number of units nga ma-produce in that certain period. Next, we have the cost of sales budget performa schedule. So, we will start with our beginning inventory. Kanya, let's, uh, we will add the budgeted purchases. Kanang atong purchase for that period, expected purchase for that period, to get our total goods or expected total goods available for sale. Then, we will deduct our budgeted inv ending inventory to get our budgeted cost of sales. Then, we have our performa schedule for our income statement. So, naman tayo budgeted sales, uh, then less budgeted cost of sales to get our budgeted gross profit, Unya minus our budgeted selling and admin expense to get our budgeted operating income, Unya less our interest expense to get income before taxes, Unya less income taxes to get our projected net income. So, kani yung mga items, uh, more or less, given rin siya tanan, or naray usang nga wala, then mauna ang inyong i-solve using kani, kani mga cost of sales budget, production budget, yan na. Then, we also have the cash budget performa schedule. So, naani siya sa inyong module, said. You can just read it there. Uh, we have our cash beginning balance added with our collections from cash sales and credit sales. So, kaning credit sales, ang composition ani is ang um, collections, our collections from previous periods credit sales. So, we get our total cash available. Then, we have to deduct our disbursements on raw materials, labor, manufacturing overhead, then our selling and administrative expenses. So, we have our ending balance before financing. So, i-add na to ang um, borrowings. So, kanang mga amounts na atong gi-borrow, gi, uh, atong proceeds from our loans from on that period. Then, deduct our repayments. Kanang atong, uh, whenever we repay our loans. And also, it's related interests. So, we have our total financing. So, Ko ano siya, if, if mas greater ang borrowings kaysa sa repayments, i-add ni siya sa ending balance. On the other hand, if mas tako ang repayments kaysa sa borrowings, i-minus ni siya sa ending balance. So, ang answer, Anna, will be our projected net income. Nya, 
kanin cash budget performa schedule uh, alternative so we have our collections disbursements uh, net cash flow cash beginning balance cash ending balance required cash balance kanang ang required cash balance nga giset sa company unya surplus or deficit surplus if sobra if greater ang atong ending balance compared sa required sa company unya deficit if kuangan ang atong ending balance compared sa atong required cash balance so uh, we will now put this uh, performance schedules into example. So, we will now have our illustrative problems. So, number one, Haru and One Day Cafe desires an ending inventory of 64,000. The company has forecasted sales to be 180,000 and has a beginning inventory of 63,000. Cost of sales is 40% of sales. How much should be their budgeted purchases? So, if you will remember, if you can remember, katong akong gihatag na formulas ganina, so, mangina ta, asa ato ang naay budgeted purchases. So, kaning cost of sales budget, na ba siya budgeted purchases? So, kani, na siya budgeted purchases. So, we will use this performance schedule. So, Beginning inventory plus our budgeted purchases, which is our uh, the amount that we should find. So, total go goods available, then less budgeted ending inventory, then budgeted cost of sales. So, we have our budgeted sales of 180,000 given na siya kani. ang atong cost of sales, which is 40% of sales. So, Budgeted sales of 180,000 times 40%, we have 72,000. So, natay beginning inventory. Um, natay beginning inventory. Kani, 63,000. Unya, what takay baw? Pila atong budgeted purchases. So, dirita sa ubos. Budgeted cost of sales. Natay budgeted cost of sales? Yes, kani. Atong gisol. 72,000. Unya, nabatay budgeted ending inventory? Um, kani. First na given, 64,000. Desires an ending inventory of 64,000. So, 64,000. Unsa saan man siya pagkuha? Since... Less money siya, total goods available for sale, less budgeted inventing inventory. So, we will add kaning budgeted cost of sales plus kaning budgeted inven ending inventory. So, budgeted cost of sales na 72,000 plus budgeted ending inventory of 64,000. We have 136,000. Now, how to get kaning budgeted purchases? So, kaning total goods available for sale minus our ND, uh, beginning inventory. So, 136,000 minus 63,000. We have our budgeted purchases of 63,000. Number two. If the required direct materials purchases are 8,000 units and the direct materials required for production is 3 times the direct materials purchase and the beginning direct materials is 4 times the direct materials purchase, what are the desired ending direct materials in units? So, yung talk about the direct materials, so we will check our production budget. So, na a type. Budgeted sales in units, ending inventory, budgeted goods for sale, beginning inventory, then budgeted units to be produced.
Okay, so using the production budget performa schedule, not the units required for production, ending inventory, total requirements, beginning inventory, then units to be purchased. Units required for production, given Banisha, the required direct materials purchase 8,000. Um, direct materials required. Not a direct materials purchase of 8,000 units. So, kani sa ubos. So, diri butang sa na nato. So, not a 8,000 units. Nga units to be purchased. Unya. Ah. Ang units required for production. Kani. Kani second. Direct materials required for production is three times the direct materials purchase. So, unsa man atong direct materials purchase kaning 8000 units so 8000 units times 3 we have 24000 units unya di pamata makaibaw sa desired ending inventory so diri na puta beginning inventory Beginning direct materials is 4 times the direct materials purchase. So, 8,000 times 4. We have 32,000. Nanya, i-add yun ni silang duha, kaning beginning inventory plus units to be purchased. Kay, less manggod siya sa babaw. So, dapat siya i-add. If mo siyang i Kuan, ang tawag ana is e work back. So, units to purchase plus 32,000. Beginning inventory. We have 40,000 units. Unya, kaning desired ending inventory. Saan siya pag work back? Since add man siya. So, if musaka ka from total requirements, dapat ma minus na put siya. So, we have total requirements minus units required for production. So, 40 minus 24, we have 16,000 units. So, ang desired ending direct materials in units is 16,000 units. Problem number 3. Forest Company has a collection schedule of 60% during the month of sale, 20% the following month, and 20% the subsequent month. So, for example, uh, the sell ka goods karon October. So, nag sell ka goods worth, let's say, 10,000. So, 60% sa 10,000 is karong October ni mo siya makulek. So, ang 6,000 Karong October makolek. Onya, next month, November, ang 20% na po dang imong makolek. So, ang 2,000 makuha ni mo on November. And the remaining 20%, uh, 20 2,000, is sa December makolek, subsequent month. So, if, ingan, if na siya yung collection, collection schedule na ingani, 60, 20, 20, so 3 months, within 3 months niya makolek. So, 60% sa current month, unya, pagka next month, 20%, unya, next next month is 20% tapod. So, the total credit sales in the current month of September were 80,000 and total collections in September were 57,000. How much were the credit sales in July if August credit sales collected in September is 5,000? So, yan ni siya. Ang imong collections karon na September is composed of 3 months. Na kay collections from um September so collections from September unya na kay collections from the previous month which is August unya na pud kay collections from 2 months prior which is July. So na man tay, uh, pila ang atong credit collections from September. So, ang total credit sales nato in the current month of September is 
80,000. So, 80,000 but not everything, not not the total 80,000 ang atong na-collect karong September. Kay, di ba, ang iyang collection schedule is 60% during the month of sales. So, 80,000 times 60%, not ay 48. Or 48 ang atong credit collections from September. Kana, 48. Kanya, not given the ay ang atong total cash collections in September. So, kanil 57,000. So, tanang na-collect ni mo in September, uh, gikan sa credit collections on September, August, and July is 57,000. So, ang credit collections from September is 48,000. O niya, ang atong August, uh, credit collections from August, pila, kani given. August credit sales collected in September is 5,000. So, 5,000. So, pilan man siya, kaning credit collections from July. Natay total cash collections, 57. O niya, ang 48 ana is from September. Niya, minus ang 5 na collected from August. So, kana ang formula. Total cash collections, minus collections from September, collections from August. So, natay, 4,000. So, of the 57,000, 4,000 ana is collected from uh, July na sales. Mauna ba niyang answer? Dili pa. Okay, ang question, how much were the credit sales in July? So, ang credit sales ang atong pangitaon. Kani is collections from money, kaning 4,000. Collections from money siya from July. So, ang atong need makita is ang credit sales in July. Uh, going back sa iyang collection schedule, 60% during month of sale, 20% the following month, and 20% the subsequent month. So, uh, kuan man karon? Uh, let's say September man karon. Anya, two months ago is July. Meaning, ang atong collection, kaning 4,000, kaning 4,000 is already 20% of the uh, credit sales bag July. So, uh, mag-tweak ratagamay sa inter, uh, uh, percentage base rate na formula. So, ang atong collections from July na 4,000 Divided by 20%. So, we have 20,000. So, kani ang atong answer? Ang July credit sales is 20,000. Kanya, number 4. Q Company has 299,000 in accounts receivable on January 1, 2019. So, ang iyang uh, opening balance. Beginning balance. Then, Budgeted sales for January are 860,000. The company expects to sell 20% of its merchandise for cash. Of the remaining sales, 75% are expected to be collected in the month of sale and the remainder the following month. How much is the January cash collections from sales? So, um 20% sa Budgeted sales daw is for cash. So, meaning, ang 80% is for utang, for credit. O niya, sa 80% na credit, ang 75% daw will be collect. Ah, so, of the credit sales, ang 75% is collected siya on the month of sale. O niya, ang remaining na 25% is sa following month. So, sama ni siya. For example, uh, for this month, uh, nakoy sales, total sales sa 10,000. Kanya, ang 20% sa akong 10,000 na sales is for cash. So, nakuha na na ako siya karon Ang 10,000 times 20% ang 2,000. Example, pa ni siya ha. Dili pa ni sa problem. 
unya, ang 80% sa 10,000 is gisel na ko siya for credit. So, gipautang na ko siya. Unya, so 80% meaning 8,000. So, sa 8,000, ang 70%, ang 75% sa 8,000 is makolek siya karon dayon. So, 8,000 times 75%, so ang 6,000 is karon siya makolek. Then, ang remaining na 25% sa 8,000, which is 2,000, is next month pa makolek. So, ingana siya. So, ang atong collections is first, uh, January credit sales. Kunya, natay December credit sales. Kunya, ang atong January cash sales. So, January credit sales, uh, atong budgeted sale na 860,000 times 80%. Kay 80% man of the budgeted sale is on credit. Nya times 75% uh, para makuha na to ang credit sales na karong January pod na collect. So, we have 516,000. Unya, ang atong December credit sales kanang 299,000. Na naman. Uh, kanang 299,000 is mauna na siya ang 25% of the credit sales pag December. So, i-add siya. 516 plus 299. We have 815. Unya, ang January cash sales of Budgeted sales na 860,000 times ang 20%. So, we have 172,000. So, plus 815. Therefore, ang atong total January cash collections from both credit and cash sales sa January and December is 987,000. So, uh, we will um, discuss more problems, kanang comprehensive problems na puta kay kato is sh uh, short and straight problems from to siya. So, problem one, KRY Corporation made the following projections on its sales in the coming year 2021. Uh, economy, good, fair, bad. So, ang projected units to be sold on quarter 1 is 7,400 if good ang economy. Then, on quarter 2, 9,200 if good ang economy, and so on. So, 5,000 ang iyang projected units sold on quarter 1 if fair ang economy. Kanya, 4,000 if bad. So, the unit sales price is expected to be constant at 20 pesos. All sales are made on credit. Receivables from customers are collected 60% in the quarter of sale, 30% in the next quarter, and 10% in the following quarter. So, ang credit sales collected siya into 3 quarters. 60%, 30%, 10%. The AR balance on December 30, 2021, uh, 2020 is estimated to be 64000 25% of which is coming from the third quarter of 2020. So, unsa man ang gipangita? <clears throat> so, nag-require siya og two schedules. Schedule 1 for the projected sales in units and in pesos per quarter for the year 2021. Yeah, schedule 2 ang estimated collections from customers per quarter and for the year 2021. So, unsa na ito pagkuha sa projected sales in units? Ingani. Probability of occurrence. So, naghatag man siya tulok ka, probability. Pwedeng good ang economy, pwedeng fair ang economy, pwedeng bad. Kunya, ang probability na good ang economy kay 50%. Probability na fair ang economy, 30%. And ang probability na bad ang economy is 20%. So, unsa man siya pagkuha? So, naakay uh, 7,400 kani siya. 
kani. Ang projected unit sold on quarter 1, if good ang economy, inya, multiplyan ni mo sa probability. Like that. 5 times 4, 3, 7, 1, 5, 1, 8, uh, 800. So, we have 6,000 units. Anya, same thing sa quarter 2. Magkuanta. 9,200. 9,200 times... 50% Onya natay 8,000 times 30% Onya natay 5,000 times 20% kani So pila man ang total projected unit sales for quarter 2 we have 8,000 so Iposa nini, pwedeng magposa mo diri, o niya, try to solve for um, quarter 3 and 4. So, for quarter 3 and 4, money ang atong projected unit sales. 7,000 and 9,000. So, ang bu atong budgeted sales in units, so, quarter 1, natay 6,000, natay 8,000 for quarter 2, 7,000 for quarter 3, o niya, for quarter 4, we have 9,000 for a total of 30,000 projected sales in units for the year 2021. O niya, given ang atong unit sales price, which is 20 pesos, so, i-multiply rin na siya. 6,000 times 20, we have 120,000 pesos, and so on and so forth. So, we already have our for, uh, schedule 1, which is the budgeted sales in units and in pesos. So, for schedule 2, um, <clears throat> na anatay, uh, we need to find the budgeted collections from customers. So, given naman ang atong credit sales, uh, kanay, 120, 160, 140, and 180. So, dito sa Q1. 120, 160, 140, 180. This amount ang 160 o 120. The credit sales in the third quarter of the year, 2020, were 160,000. Yun sa Ang um, Di ba na, na ato yung given ganina? Kanay. Account receivable balance on December 31 is estimated to be 64,000, 25% of which is coming from the third quarter of 2020. So, ang 25% sa 64, sales na siya from the third quarter of 2020. So, we have 64 times 25%. So, natay 16,000. Unya, 90% of the third quarter sales in 2020 have been collected as of December 31, 2020. Okay, nakakollect na siya 60% pag quarter 3, unya 30% pag quarter 4. So, meaning ang 16,000 ka ng 64,000 times 25% is ang um, equal to 10% na lang siya sa quarter 3 sales. So, we will uh, divide it by 10%. That's why we have 160,000. Mauna siya ang formula. 64,000 times 25% divided by 10%. Mauna niya, ganing 120,000. Okay. So, Sa quarter 1 of 2021 siya makulek. Kaya yung 120,000 is uh, 64,000 times 75. 75 na po. Kaya ang 25 is from quarter 3 man. So, ang remaining na 75% sa quarter 4. Kaya 60% uh, 60% sa quarter 4 sales is collected na siya at the end of 2020. 2020 na siya, ha? 
by the end of 2020. So, meaning ang remaining na uncollected is 40%. So, 48,000 divided by 40%, we have 120. So, usagan ito atong collection pattern kani. 60, 30, 10. So, na collected naman yung 60 pag last year. So, 120 times 30% ang makolect for quarter 1, which is 36,000. Anya, for quarter 2, uh, 120 times 10% is 12,000. So, moving on, uh, first quarter of 2021, kanin 120, 160, 140, 180, Mao na siya nakuha na to sa uh, schedule 1, di ba? So, sa yun rin siya. Mag-multiplier ka 60, 30, and 10%. So, 120 times 60%. Mao na siya makolek on quarter 1. Kunya, 120 times 30%, 36,000. Makolek na siya on quarter 2. Then, 120 times 10%, we have 12,000. So, to be collected on quarter 3. So, itry ko na ninyo, kanin second to the fourth quarter. So, pause the video first, then solve for the um, collection patterns for quarter 2, 3, and 4. So, the collection pattern for quarter 2 sales is like this. 96, 60% on quarter 2, 30% on quarter 3, 10% on quarter 4. Then, for quarter 3 sales, 60% on quarter 3, 30% on quarter 4. Then, ang remaining 10%, next year na po. Uh, quarter 1 of year 2022. Then, quarter 4 sales, ang 60% makolect siya on quarter 4. Then, ang remaining 40%, year 2022 na po siya makolect. So, i-add yeah, na to siya. Budgeted collections from customers on quarter 1, we have 124,000. Quarter 2, 144. Quarter 3, also 144. Then, quarter 4, we have 166. Then, ang total collections for the year should be 578,000. We will now move on to the second illustrative comprehensive problem. KRY Corporation has the budgeted unit sales of its product in 2020 up to the first quarter of 2021 as follows. The company has a policy of maintaining finished goods inventory, 20% of the next quarter sales, and materials inventory of 30% of current quarter's requirements. Then, it takes 3 pounds of material X AX23 to produce a unit of product. The materials inventory at the start of the year was recorded at 7,500 pounds. The material costs 1.20 pesos per pound to purchase. The company pays 55% of its purchases in the quarter of purchase and the remaining balance is paid in the following quarter. The accounts payable at December 31 is recorded at 8,100 pesos. So, Required schedules are the following. Budgeted production per quarter and in total. Uh, budgeted materials purchases and budgeted payments. So for schedule 3, ano ang atong formula? Budgeted sales in units plus finished goods ending. So total needs, then we have finished goods beginning to get our budgeted production. So, ang atong budgeted sales in units is given na daan. Ani? 6, 8, 7, 9, 000. Then, ang atong finished goods end is 
according to the problem, 20% of the next quarter sales. So, okay na. So, ang atong quarter 1 na finished goods ending should be 8,000 units times 20%. So, 20% of the next quarter sales. So, quarter 2. And so on and so forth. Then, cutting quarter 4, this amount tanks sa 7,500. Even ang uh, budgeted sales for 2021, first quarter. So, cutting ang atong base. Next quarter man. So, we have 1, 6, 1, 4, 1, 8, and 1, 5. Ang total niya is, should be ang ending gihapon ha. Ending gihapon siya sa quarter 4. Kaya ang end month sa year is quarter 4. So, i-add rin na siya. 7, 6, 9, 4, 8, 8, 10, 5. So, we have 31,500. Then, ang atong beginning is just the ending of the previous quarter. So, sa quarter 1, ang 6,000 units times 20%. So, 1,200 units. Then, kani, i-bring down rin siya. Break ka 1, 6, and bitaw sa quarter 1 is the beginning of quarter 2. So, then, ang end sa quarter 2, beginning of quarter 3. Ang end sa quarter 3, beginning of quarter 4. So, the ending inventory of the fourth quarter is the ending inventory of the year. And the beginning inventory of the first quarter is the beginning of the year. That's why, 1,200 gihapon ang atong uh, finished goods beginning sa total na column. Then, i-minus running mo siya sa total needs. So, we have budgeted production of 6,400 units for quarter 1, 7,800 for quarter 2, 7,400 for quarter 3, and 8,700 for quarter 4. Then, next, we have budgeted materials purchase. So, naaman tayo, naaman tayo budgeted production from our schedule 3 kani so i-copy ra nato siya dire so, nya given na sa atong problem na each unit uh, should use 3 pounds of materials so atong budgeted production times standard materials per unit so 3 3 pounds na siya so, we have budgeted materials usage in pounds of the following. So, 19,200 and 3,400 and so on and so forth. Then, materials inventory N is equal to the 30% of current quarter's budgeted materials usage. So, 19,200 times 30%. We have 5,760 and so on and so forth. So, total materials needs, i-add rin silang duha to get 24,960. Onya ang beginning, ang beginning for quarter 1 is given na mandaan, 7,500. If you will look back sa atong um, problem statement, na ato, given na siya daan. Then, ang um, Beginning sa second quarter is ang ending sa first quarter. So, i-bring down na, na siya. Then, ang beginning sa third quarter, ending sa second, ang beginning sa fourth quarter, ang ending sa third quarter. So, we have our budgeted materials purchase in pounds, 17,460. I-minus ang 24,960, 75. Then, materials cost per pound is 1.20 pesos. So, multiply siya sa atong budgeted materials purchase na in pounds. So, we have our budgeted materials purchase in pesos, which are the following. 29.52, 29.592, 10.68, and so on. 
So we have our budgeted materials purchase in pesos and in pounds. So moving on, uh, schedule 5 is the budgeted payments. So from our schedule 4, kaning atong budgeted purchases, ato ni siyang dad on the ray. So 29.52. 29,592, and so on. So, ang atong payment pattern is 55,45. Ang 55% uh, sa current quarter, sa quarter of purchase, bayaran. O niya, ang 45% sa next quarter. Then, credit purchase in the fourth quarter of 2020 is 18,000. Kay? Naman tayo beginning balance pagka January of 8-1. So, it represents 45%, which is the uncollected um, amount sa atong gi-purchase pag quarter 4 in 2020. So, divide by 45, 18,000. So, ang 55% already paid na siya last year. So, for quarter 1, ang ato na lang bayaran is ang 8,100. Then, for quarter 1 of 2021, uh, since quarter 1 man ang atong quarter of purchase, so, on quarter 1, um, you will pay 55%. So, 2952 times 55%. We have 11523 Unya Unya, ang remaining 45% is sa quarter 2 mabayaran. So, 9428.4. So, for quarters 2, 3, and 4, uh, pwedeng kamura ang solve. So, ipos ni ang video para mag-solve mo. Then, if mahuman na mag-solve, i-play siya to check if correct ba ang inyong um, solution. So, we have for quarter 2, 16 to 7, 5. Uh, 55% to be paid on quarter 2. Then, ang 45% to be paid on quarter 3. Kunya, ang quarter 3 na purchase, ang 55% to be paid on quarter 3. Kunya, ang 45% to be paid on quarter 4. Then, quarter 4 na purchase, Ang 55% to be paid on quarter 4. Then, ang 45% to be paid siya on the next quarter, which is quarter 1 of year 2022. So, i-address siya tanan. So, we have the following budgeted payments to merchandise suppliers per quarter and for the total for the year. So, nahuman na sa Schedule 5. Now, for your conceptual activity, Rokokoko Company is now in the process of preparing a production budget in the third quarter. Past experience has shown that ending inventories of finished goods equal 40% of the next month's sales. The inventory at the end of June was 10,000 units. Rokoko's uh, budgeted sales are shown below. So, ang required is to prepare a production budget for the third quarter per month and in total. So, ang gusto na ko makita is na mo'y per month na column and total na column. So, use Schedule 3 as your guide in making the production budget. So, kani ang inyong guide. Instead of quarter, dapat month ang naaana month, 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 then ang total for the quarter. So, ingani dapat ang forma sa inyong um, solution. So, that ends our discussion for this week. Um, if na may pangutana, I know this is a very um, medyo intimidating and confusing niya nga topic. So, Questions uh, will be very much appreciated. Uh, Pwede mo, mo DM mo na ako sa MS Teams or much better if add to mo mo post sa inyong questions sa 
queries channel para di bitaw magbalik-balik og um pangutana para in case na ang inyong pangutana is pangutana pud sa inyong classmate so makabasa ra sila sa atong queries channel so thank you very much for um listening and please don't forget to answer uh CA5 and prepare for um a quiz next week so thank you